The operating budgets culminate with the preparation of the budgeted income statement. Before we can do that, we need to prepare budgets for direct labor, manufacturing overhead, and selling and administrative expenses. Like the direct materials budget, the direct labor budget contains the quantity of hours and the cost of direct labor necessary to meet production requirements. The total direct labor cost is derived from the following formula. The direct labor budget is critical in maintaining a labor force that can meet the expected levels of production. Direct labor hours are determined from the production budget. At Hayes Company, two hours of direct labor are required to produce each unit of finished goods. The anticipated hourly wage rate is $10. So in Q1, if we anticipate that we're going to produce 3,100 units, each unit requires two hours. So that means our total required direct labor hours are 6,200. We simply multiply that by our direct labor cost per hour of $10 to get our direct labor cost of $62,000. And you would do a very similar exercise for the other quarters. The solutions to this exercise will be provided in a separate video. The manufacturing overhead budget shows the expected manufacturing overhead cost for the budget period. This budget distinguishes between variable and fixed overhead cost. Hayes Company expects variable cost to fluctuate with production volume on the basis of the following rates per direct labor hour. Indirect materials is $1, indirect labor is $1.40, utilities is $0.40, cents, and maintenance is $0.20. Cents. If the company uses 6,200 direct labor hours to produce 3,100 units, budgeted indirect materials are $6,200. That is calculated by taking the direct labor hours of 6,200 and multiplying by $1. The budgeted indirect labor is going to be $8,680, and that is calculated by taking direct labor hours of 6,200 and multiplying by $1.40. Hayes also recognizes that some maintenance is fixed. The amounts reported for the fixed cost are assumed for our example. The variable costs are obtained by taking the variable cost per unit and multiplying by the direct labor hours. As stated in the previous slide, the amount reported for fixed cost are assumed for our example. At Hayes Company, overhead is applied to production on the basis of direct labor hours. The budgeted annual rate is $8. Again, that is found by taking the total manufacturing overhead cost, $246,400, and dividing that by the total direct labor hours. Hayes Company combines its operating expenses into one budget, the Selling and Administrative Expense Budget. This budget projects anticipated selling and administrative expenses for the budget period. It also classifies expenses as either variable or fixed. The variable expense rates per unit of sales are sales commissions of $3 and freight out of $1. Variable expenses per quarter are based on the unit sales from the sales budget. For example, Hayes expects sales in the first quarter to be 3,000 units. So sales commission expense is $9,000 or 3,000 units times $3. And freight out is $3,000 which is found by taking the 3,000 units and multiplying by $1. Fixed expenses are based on assumed data. The variable costs are obtained by taking the variable cost per unit and multiplying by the budgeted sales in units. As stated in the previous slide, the amounts reported for fixed costs are assumed. You will need the selling and administrative expenses when you prepare the income statement. The budgeted income statement is the important end product of the operating budgets. This budget indicates the expected profitability of operations for the budget period and provides the basis for evaluating company performance. As you would expect, the budgeted income statement is prepared from the various operating budgets. 
To find the cost of goods sold, Hayes Company must first determine the total unit cost of producing one unit. Hayes then determines cost of goods sold by multiplying the units sold by the unit cost. Its budgeted cost of goods sold is $660,000, which is found by taking the 15,000 units and multiplying by the total unit cost of $44. Again, we're going to need the cost of goods sold when we prepare the income statement. All data for the multiple step income statement come from the individual operating budgets, except for the following items. We expect interest expense to be $100 and our income taxes are estimated to be $12,000.